and welcome to Ohio Valley Couponer. Today when y'all are seeing it, I'm filming this on Friday. You guys are seeing this on Saturday, September the 9th, so like one day after the fact. But I am vlogging today, um, mostly because, number one, I feel like some of you guys would like to know a health update, how things are going since the health scare and all that. I talked about that in great detail in Thursday's video, so you might want to check that out if you haven't already seen it, because I'm going to kind of like continue off of that in this vlog today. Um, and if you haven't seen that, you might be like, what is this guy talking about? Um, but another reason is I've just not been out couponing because of all the health stuff. And so I didn't have a like, haul or anything like that to share today. So I was just like, okay, I'm just going to vlog and some of you guys will enjoy it. So that's what we're doing today. Um, so let me just like kind of start out with how am I really doing? How am I really doing as of today? Physically, things are getting better. I'm not perfect, but things are getting better. So I talked about in my video that I was having a lot of brain saps, which is like where you just have like the zapping feeling in your brain that'll just come on you out of nowhere. That is very, very minimal now. It's not happening much. When it does happen, I will say it's not nearly as intense or severe. So that really helps. Cause like when you have that happen, like it is hard to even think straight and to do anything. So I'm really thankful that that has definitely like chilled out. Also, um, the sweating, like breaking out in sweats like I was and getting super hot, that has not happened since like Wednesday. So that, that's really good. We'll say the chest pain off and on. That, that still is like, that still comes on a little bit. But we did the EKG and the chest x-ray and everything was good. So we don't have to worry about that. Um, it must just be some temporary discomfort from the med switch. And then I will say the sleep. That is still really bad. Like, guys, I even took medication to help me sleep last night, and I still only got, like, four hours. I know some of you guys are probably like, I only get four hours every night. Um, but for me, I typically get a full eight hours, and I don't even wake up in the middle of the night, really. I usually just sleep a full eight hours, so it's taking its toll. I'm not going to lie. It's pretty rough. Um, but, like, my body just is not wanting to sleep, and it's, yeah, it's stupid. So I'm hoping that... The more into this I get that I can sleep normally soon because your boy likes some sleep. Like, I love to sleep. So hopefully that gets just back up. Mentally, emotionally, this has been rough. Not gonna lie, this has been rough. Um, especially because this was such a traumatic experience. And my doctor, which I'm gonna say that. Some of you guys were trying to give my doctor the benefit of the doubt. And I get that. I would be like that. I would try to give them the benefit of the doubt. And be like, well, maybe some people, somebody did say like, did you misunderstand your doctor? I definitely didn't. We made, I made sure to get clarification. The nurse even came back in and explained everything to me upon leaving. Like she wants you to quit this medication right now and start this new one. So I didn't misunderstand. Unfortunately, that's just what they did. And somebody else said like, maybe most people or maybe other people wouldn't have the same reaction. Um, based on everything I've seen, every warning, everything I've read, everything like a, a doctor at the hospital, several like nurses, my x-ray tech, she said she'd literally gone through the same thing I was going through. You don't just come off this medication cold turkey like that. And so the bottom line is my doctor messed up. And that devastates me. That really does because I really, really respected this doctor. Like I felt like she was very understanding and I felt like she was caring. And I think she truly does care. I think this was just a, a horrible mistake she made. But unfortunately, when you're a doctor, like mistakes like this can cost people their life. Like you really can't afford to be making these kind of mistakes. And, you know, there's been other things that that office has done that I really should have thought about changing over, but I've stuck it out with them because that's just how much I felt comfortable at this doctor. So that more than anything else is a really sad realization that I have to leave her practice. Like there's no way I can ever trust her again with my care, even though, yeah, it's a mistake, but that's what the reception is like. Well, we don't know stuff unless we try. Well, I don't want to be the one you guys try on and have to suffer. So... I definitely have to find a new doctor. I did start making calls. And unfortunately, like a lot of the places in town that my insurance covers just like aren't even taking new patients right now. So it's going to be an experience trying to find a new primary care doctor. But it's all going to work out. And I know that. And God will lead me to whoever I'm supposed to go to. And if this experience taught me anything, it's not that I'm anti-medication or anything like that. Like I'm not. I'm still going to take my medications. I still believe in medications and stuff like that. But I'm not just going to blindly trust everything the doctor says anymore. And that was stupid on my part. But I'm young, I'm naive, and I never had any reason to think that the doctor would mess up. So I just like whatever she said. And she even bragged that last visit, like, you are so compliant. Not all my patients are compliant and just, you know, 
trust what I say or do what I say. So I will definitely, this has taught me like, don't just go with the flow, you know, research and make sure that this is really safe before you just do whatever they say, because they're humans and they can make mistakes and errors. And unfortunately I was just like a victim to their mistake, but it is what it is. It happened and I've learned from it. And that's the main thing. I was able to get a Walmart video together this morning. I didn't actually go in store to Walmart, but I just like pulled old clips from home and did voiceovers. I don't love doing that, but it worked out good this week. I wanna get back to normal, but I also gotta like listen to my body. I'm gonna try something slow and steady today. I do have an Etsy order that I need to ship out. And so I'm gonna go to Staples and just take that order in. I'm gonna let my mom drive me, so I'm gonna go in and ship that. So I'm gonna like slowly go out again and see how I feel because I noticed the last like few days when I would go out, I would get really bad, like it would get worse. So I'm gonna try it slow and steady and just try to take that Etsy order in and we will see how that goes. Okay, so my mom was super nice and she was out and about and she asked if I wanted Subway for lunch and this looks amazing. I always get the All-American Club it comes with turkey, ham, and bacon, and I always just usually get Italian bread and all the veggies and stuff. It's so good. And if you guys saw my vlog from Monday, went to Trader Joe's and stocked up on these olive oil potato chips. Like They're so good. So I'm going to have some of those. It's going to be delicious. Okay, so I am getting my Etsy order ready to go out. Um, somebody ordered a wallet. but This is like a card holder wallet that I sell. So it comes with eight of these little sleeves that you can put your cards in and it works front and back. So you actually can store 48 cards in here, which is really nice. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and include, so it comes in this clear wallet. And then I'm gonna actually include some freebies in here as well, these budget sheets. So Donna, if you're watching this, thank you for ordering. I'm getting this shipped out to you guys. If any of you are ever interested in my Etsy store, by the way, um, it is still a thing. It's called OVC Designs. It's not nearly as big as it once was. I mostly just sell either the card holder wallets or the coupon organizer wallets, which look like this. Sorry, my computer screen is messy. Um, but you can store like coupons and stuff in here. And I still sell that as well. So definitely guys, if you've never checked out my Etsy, I'll have a link in the description. And there is a coupon code you can get if you use the code VLOGFAM, you will get 10%, 10% off? Yeah, 10% off. So definitely that's a great thing as well. But I'm gonna go to Staples and ship this out. Mama's super nice and is letting me run into Staples to ship out this Etsy package. Definitely feels good to be like out of the house and just like to be out in the fresh air for even just like a couple of minutes um, for sure. So I'm excited to go in here and ship this out. And yeah, but um, the twins came over. If you didn't know my cousin, he has two twins. They're three and a half. And it was hilarious. Like YouTube was just on the TV or whatever. And my thumbnail, one of my videos should have been suggested and it had like the hot sign for hot deals. And he was pointing out like, hot, hot. I try to get him on recording. I'll go ahead and insert that real quick. Yeah. Bob, what is that? Uh-huh. Is that hot? Mm -hmm. Are those hot deals? Mm -hmm. Hot deals? Mm -hmm. You can get hot deals on Ohio Valley Couponer. Yeah, it was like the cutest thing ever, but I'm all done at Staples. I know the power of editing. His guys got that done at Staples and super quick, like 30 seconds is all it took, if that. It was really easy. I mean, it did print off a receipt with a coupon. Didn't look around in there. Not quite to my old self just yet, but had to get that out. And it was good just to get out in the fresh air, like I said. But I learned something about Staples recently. I don't know if this has like always been a thing or not. If I like, if it has been for years, I'm kind of beating myself up because I always thought that Staples only took UPS orders, like to ship. I didn't realize they took USPS, United States Postal Service. And that's like the ones that Etsy ships with is USPS. So all this time I'm taking it to the post office, but I found out that Staples takes USPS and I was like starting to be able to send out my orders there, which is so much easier because literally Staples is right close to Walmart. So it just makes life so much easier. And so yeah, but I was able to ship that out at Staples, but gonna go home and we're gonna put on dinner for tonight. And it's gonna be a super, super easy recipe. Literally takes like three minutes. I'll show you, it's so easy. We make this all the time because it tastes so good and it takes very little effort. And that's kind of what all of us need right now. It's been a week for myself and for the family, like having to go through this with me. It's been a lot. I've had to definitely put up with a lot because I've been all over the place. Um, and so we all just need simplicity right now. And so this recipe is gonna be perfect. So I'm gonna show you guys that. Guys, I'm about to give you the absolute easiest soup recipe you have ever seen, especially if you already have the chicken prepared. If you gotta do that, it's an extra step. But guys, this is such an easy, easy recipe. It's like a dump and go kind of deal. So for this recipe, this is chicken tortilla soup. We use two cans of beans, 
a jar of salsa, seven chicken bouillon cubes, seven cups of water, and the chicken we kind of eyeballed. You can do more or less. We actually have some family who does not want chicken in there, so make a separate pot for them, and then the rest of us who do want chicken. So if everybody is eating it though, and you're doing seven servings, just make sure you add a little bit more chicken than we did, but we had ours frozen, so we just unthawed that. Then I started by filling up the water, which takes a little bit, but um, just to get it all out of the spigot or whatever. But um, got the water running and put it in the crock pot directly. It was cold water. Doesn't matter, I turned it on high and just added the bouillon cubes in. I know it says on the bouillon that you can like mix it in hot water, but on a crock pot on high, it just all like mixes together perfectly and makes the broth. Then I rinsed and drained two cans of the tri bean blend and added that amongst the two, the veggie version and the meat version. And then I also put a whole jar of salsa. I love the Simple Truth Organic Salsa. It just, for me, has the best flavor out of all salsas. Uh, so that's what I use. And then you're just going to mix it all up. And I had it on high for about four hours. And then it comes out looking like this. All the spices from the salsa are all mixed in there. The chicken and the beans. You can add corn as well. I just have family members who can't have corn, so we don't do that. I like to top mine with tortilla strips or tortilla chips, shredded cheese, and sour cream. But it's honestly good just on its own, too. Delicious, delicious meal. Guys, it is later now, a couple of hours later. I'm sitting outside. My mom brought the kids out to play because it is a gorgeous day in Ohio. It is like in the 70s and just like a breeze going. It is an awesome day to be outside. So it's been really hot lately. So this weather is awesome. But you guys want to swing? Yeah. You want to swing? Yeah. Sissy, do you want to swing? You want to swing? You want to go slow or fast? Slow. Slow? Fast? You wanna go fast? Yeah. You wanna go fast? No. You wanna go slow? Slow. Okay. See, can you say coupon? Coupon. Coupon? <laughs> Good job. Oh. Sissy's ah. trying to push me. It doesn't work like that. Little fun fact, the dress that Jim is wearing today, this is cool that she wore it the day that they brought them over here. Um, that is one I got her for her birthday and I got it for 90% off at Walmart on clearance. So like, yay. Yay, that was such a great deal. Good job, Bub, with your counting. These kids are growing up, like seriously. Bub just counted to 10, and then Sissy just gave up her binky. Like, she just like gave it up. Like, man, they're becoming like little kids now, like not babies anymore. Bub, can you say coupon? No, I won't. You don't want to say coupon? You got rocks? Mm -hmm. Are those rocks? Yeah. Oh. Can you show me your rocks? Mm. <gasps> Are those rocks? Mm -hmm. Good job. Let's see. Did you get leaves? I want the leaves. Are they pretty leaves? All right, guys, a couple of hours later, and I've just been sitting here getting the vlog edited and ready for tomorrow. Um, well, you guys are seeing this tomorrow, so you're seeing this on Saturday. That's what I'm referring to as tomorrow. But um, yeah, um, man, that dinner was really good. The chicken tortilla soup. If you guys have never tried that, such an easy recipe. It literally takes like five minutes to get together if you have the chicken already like pre-cooked and you just need to thaw it out. So easy. We always do ours on the crock pot, but even if you want to like do it on the stove top, I bet you could do that as well and make it, you know, quick and just get the water to boil and stuff and you should be good to go um, that route as well. Definitely try it. Definitely try it if you haven't already. It's so, so, so good. And like I said, whether you do it with the fixings on top or if you just do it like the salsa, beans and chicken, it's delicious. Like you will not regret it. It's that good. So yeah. Um, how am I feeling right now? I mostly I'm just exhausted. That's that's the thing. I am drained. I just like want to go to sleep right now so bad. <laughs> I tried. I actually tried a couple of times today just to take a nap. Like I went down to my bed and just was like, lay down, try to go to sleep. And it just would not happen. It would not happen. I hate that feeling when you like feel like you need to go to sleep, but then your body just won't let you. So, like you feel so physically tired. Like I need to go to sleep, but then your body won't actually let you go to sleep. Ugh, one of the worst feelings ever. And I just feel super like achy and just exhausted. You don't realize how like how much your body really needs sleep until you're not getting a ton of it. Like half what I usually do, it's hard to function on that for so long, like, you know. So I'm just like hoping that tonight I get 
a full night's rest. And I'm, I'm just like hoping and praying I sleep in tomorrow and my body just wakes up and it naturally wakes up and that I can recharge and just like be feeling better soon. So yeah, um, but you know, I'll take today over Tuesday, Monday. It is way better than it was then. So that's what matters. And yeah, it was fun to see the kids today too. They were actually in a really good mood. They were doing a lot of cute and funny things today. So that was fun to get to see them. So we made the best out of the day and it was a good day. And I hope you guys did enjoy following me along. Thank you guys so much for all your kind words and comments. And thank you for watching this video. I am going to get this uploaded and then I'm going to try to actually go to sleep. So we'll see if I can fall asleep, even if it's just for like an hour or so power nap. We'll see. But um, hopefully I can get some more sleep and just be like more refreshed here soon. So guys, that's all I got. I hope you enjoyed it. And thank you so, so much for watching.